Christian Wood makes the Dallas Mavericks dangerous. Recently, the Mavericks were able to acquire Christian Wood in a deal from the Houston Rockets, and in my opinion, at this point, I think the Mavs are a much better team after this deal than they were before. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. The Dallas Mavericks are in a very interesting position at this point. They're always really, really good during the regular season and a top four or five team in the Western Conference. But once it comes down to the playoffs, they have the capability to win their first round playoff matchup. But after that, it gets a lot tougher for them. And they certainly have not had all that much success after the first round of the playoffs in the past two or three seasons. And in my opinion, I think the reason for this is Luka is obviously a generational talent and he's certainly good enough to carry the Mavs throughout the regular season but once it comes down to the playoffs and especially after the first round of the playoffs it's much more difficult for a guy in Luka to carry his team over whoever they're playing if he's not necessarily getting all that much help and I thought for some time now that the Mavs really needed to find that second star to put alongside Luka in order to give him the help that he does need once it comes down to the playoffs now of course the Mavericks did try to give Luka that second star that I thought he did need in Chris Aps Porzingis but of course that didn't pan out and ever since then the Mavs try to get some help for Luka, whether you talk about a guy in Jalen Brunson or even Spencer Dinwiddie, who they picked up this previous season. And although, in my opinion, those two players certainly helped out Luka pretty tremendously once it came down to the playoffs and even during the regular season, I still think that the Mavs need more in order to win an NBA championship or at the very least be legitimate contenders to do so. So when I heard the news that the Mavs were trading for Christian Wood, although obviously he's not a star, I do think he adds another element to this Mavs roster that they didn't previously have, and I personally think after the acquisition, the Mavs are a lot better as a team and a lot more dangerous as well. But before we go into how Christian Wood makes this Dallas Mavericks team a lot better and a lot more dangerous, let's first quickly look at his individual skill set and what he does well out there. So starting with Christian's three-point shooting ability, this is certainly an aspect of his game that he worked on tremendously ever since getting into the NBA, and at this point, I would say it's one of the better aspects of his game. But from that range, Christian certainly has a really nice catch and shoot three punch jump shot, whether that comes off the pick and pop or just spotting up at the top of the key in general. But what makes him unique is he also has the ability to put the ball on the floor and cross over into a three point jump shot, sidestep or step back. And he also has somewhat of a pull up three point jump shot within his game, which is crazy to say considering that he is six feet 10. And not only is Christian able to put up and make difficult three point jump shots, he's also shooting a really good 39% from deep. But now talking about his mid-range jump shot, from that mid-range, Christian basically can do everything he could from that three-point range, whether you talk about his catch and shoot, sidestep, step back, pull up, but he also has a pretty decent post turnaround fadeaway within his game, where he uses his great size and length to really get an open shot and shoot over defenders, making that shot so effective for him. But also that really good ball handling ability that I mentioned gives him the ability to really put up a floater in the lane as well, and overall from that mid-range, I would say Christian is very talented talented as well. But now talking about his driving and finishing ability, Christian does a really nice job at finishing around the basket, whether you're talking about him being the role man in the pick and roll offense, or you're talking about him handling the ball himself and manipulating through the defense. But once driving all the way to the basket, Christian has a really nice ability to posturize players at times when he wants to, but mostly what he does once driving all the way to the basket is finishing around players with crafty layups, either his left or right hand, and really does a nice job finishing through through contact as well. Now Christian also has a pretty nice touch around the basket, whether you talk about a nice little baby hook in the post or maybe even a baby floater, but mostly what he does once driving all the way to the basket is either finishing around them with crafty laps or posturize the player. And overall, I would say in terms of his offense, he's a very talented offensive player that just gives the Mavs a brand new aspect to their offense, which would make them a lot more dangerous. Now another thing that Christian Wood does decently well, I would say, is he's a decent passer and playmaker 
Now, obviously, this wouldn't be that much of an issue on the Mavs, as Luka, of course, is going to do most of the passing and playmaking, and does it at a very high level, but it is nice to have as many playmakers as possible on your roster, and especially when you talk about a big that's able to pass and playmake a little bit, it is certainly a positive for the Mavs. Christian, of course, also provides some rebounding and some defense, and all these things are just benefits to the Mavs, of course. But in terms of the fit, I think there's a few different reasons for why Christian Wood could be a huge pickup for the Mavs. So the first reason for why I think so is a two-man game between him and Luka. Now, what makes his two-man game so versatile is they can either run the pick and pop, where Christian Wood has proven the ability to hit that catch-and-shoot three-point jump shot, especially from the top of the key, at a very high level. So the defense would, of course, need to focus on that. But obviously, they would also need to focus on Luka driving all the way to the basket, as he's proven the ability to finish around there at a very high level as well. So that would just make it very difficult on the defense. But if these two were to run the pick and roll offense, it would be pretty lethal as well, as Christian Wood has proven the ability to finish around the basket at a very high level. And Luka, of course, is a phenomenal passer and playmaker and can easily get the ball to him. But at the same time, that pick could also force a switch and a big man could then be on Luka Doncic. And if that were to be the case, Luka could easily score on a big man. So I think the pick and roll slash pick and pop between these two guys could be absolutely lethal and an absolute nightmare for whatever defense is trying to defend that. But another reason for why I think this pickup of Christian Wood could potentially be huge for the Mavs is when Luka does come off the court, you now have an extra guy that has a capability to score for himself. Now, of course, you already have other guys in Jalen Brunson, assuming they do retain him and also Spencer Dinwiddie. But now having a third guy in Christian Wood that also has a capability to score for himself would just be a huge boost for this Dallas Mavericks team. And a potential pick and roll slash pick and pop with a guy in Jalen Brunson and Christian Wood, or maybe Spencer Dinwiddie and Christian Wood could also be pretty effective and pretty lethal for a lot of the same reasons for why the pick and roll slash pick and pop would be very effective between Christian Wood and Luka. And in my opinion, a team can never go wrong with having as many individual scorers as they could have on their team. Because especially when it comes down to the playoffs, just having a bunch of supplementary guys that don't have the ability to score for themselves, it's just going to make it that much more difficult for the star player to do his thing in the playoffs. But if that star player has a bunch of different guys that have the capability to score for themselves, it just makes it that much easier for the star player to go off in the playoffs. So that's why I don't think you can go wrong with having a bunch of different individual scorers on your roster. So those are the reasons why I think Christian Wood could potentially be a really good fit for the Mavs. Now, do I think the Mavs will be legitimate championship contenders next season? I don't personally think so, but at the same time, I think they're a lot closer now than they were in the past. But of course, that does assume that Jalen Brunson does resign with the Mavs. But of course, I could be wrong. Maybe the Mavs will win an NBA championship next season. Of course, they do have the top level talent that is required to do so in Luka Doncic. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the addition of Christian Wood is a huge one for the Mavs or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out, guys.